Hey guys, happy Friday. It's still April the 1st. Today um, I am sharing two videos. Um, just hopping on just to share my sunflower arrangement with you all that I had promised this morning on my live when I did my live announcement. Say hello as you come on. I'm so glad that you are here. Thanks for joining me. I'm so glad that you are here. Thanks for joining me. Hello, everyone. Hello from beautiful Southeast Texas. God has just really blessed us uh, today with some beautiful, beautiful weather. And I'm so glad that y'all are here. Guys, this morning, if you um, watched my live, this is the second time I'm going live today. And I will be, you know, if you watch the replay, I thank you. And if you, um, you know, caught me on YouTube, I appreciate y'all so much because those are the two places that you'll find me. I'm, uh, you know, going live on Facebook and then I'll share it to my YouTube channel. So hi, Deetra and Grace. I'm so glad that y'all are here. If you're watching on the replay, just let me know by just putting hashtag replay in the comments. If you have a question, let me know. And, uh, <clears throat> hi, Sandy. And, uh, this bucket, I'll tell, I'll say in just a second. Now, guys, if you didn't hear my um, announcement this morning, I was selected as a creative team member for Craft Round the Clock. And so I'm so excited because what that means is I'm going to be crafting more with you. Stuff like this, I'm going to be sharing more things here on Facebook as well as on YouTube because I am so excited that this is what the Lord has called me to do. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Rhonda, Janelle, Terry, Pamela. Yes, I am having a very busy day, but I want to get this this done and finished so that I can, um, you know, give it to my sister-in-law so that she can put it, um, you know, on my nephew's grave. Now, if you had um, missed the live this morning, what I shared um, is that I was going to be creating a sunflower an arrangement because tragically a few years ago I lost my 15 year old nephew and I'm sorry because I get emotional by it because it was you know just a shock and um, you know we had tragedy but yes also God is so good because actually um, my nephew was tragically taken from us but God spared my brother's life because he was, um, you know, in the vehicle as well. And so even though we are so heartbroken, we know that, you know, my nephew is in the arms of Jesus, but he, we still have my brother here. And so we are so thankful, you know, for that. And, um, you know, so, you know, we all go through tragedies. We all go through, you know, different things in our lives that, that really just bring us closer together. Um, but I want us to never forget that no matter what we're going through, the Lord is there. He's there to help us through it and give us the strength to go through it. Okay. Anyway, so what I had said, my sister-in-law is amazing because, well, what she does is she goes and buys all of this stuff and she just gives me a, a Hobby Lobby bag. And um, usually she does pretty good with picking out the flowers and stuff. I don't really have to add a whole lot to it. Sometimes I'll add a few things, you know, here and there, but the everything that you're going to see today came from Hobby Lobby with the exception of the styrofoam you know I usually pick that up at Dollar Tree and that kind of thing and uh, hi Crystal and so the the uh, container came from Hobby Lobby and actually she was hoping that she would be able to reuse the containers you know after so much time you know just being in the weather elements you know things are going to have uh, you know to get um, bogged down and and you know weather um, the weather elements really take a beating on things. So she was able to, you know, reuse this, you know, and this has been from, I'm thinking last, last summer or last fall, whenever we created, I had shared, uh, on my pages, you know, before that, you know, some of the arrangements that I did, but I said, well, I'll just go ahead and, and turn it on and, and y'all can just see how I do it. And so everything, like I said, everything came from Hobby Lobby, the flowers, um, the container, um, with the exception of the styrofoam. So usually what I do since it is outside, so, you know, it's going to be, Hey Donna, it's going to be outside. I usually weight it down, be, uh, weight it down <laughs> with some rocks and stuff and uh so that way you know it doesn't get blown away or or that kind of thing 
So Jimmy Jan says she loves sunflowers. Me too. I'm a big sunflower person. You know, I guess it's the country girl in me. Um, but anyway, I'm so sorry. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Tracy and I craft here at Country Drawn by Tracy. I'm so glad that you are here. I love to share ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. Uh, hi, Shelly. Hi, Donna. Hi, Kathy. I'm so glad that y'all are here. And uh, okay, so what I do is I have this little turntable that I bought at, I think this was at Walmart, this little turntable. I got it at Walmart in the kitchen section. And anyway, it fits these little containers like this really good. So when I'm working, like, you know, I could just kind of spin it around and that kind of thing. Actually, I use it a lot in my crafting. And uh, so what I do is to prepare like the container, because sometimes she'll send me a, a can or basket, a thing like this, or she'll give me, um, you know, she will send me a basket or something like that. Um, three years ago, Pamela, Pamela's asking how many years ago did your nephew get to see the face of Jesus? Um, yeah, three years ago. And, uh, you know, it's still, it's, it's still so emotional, but yet I'm so thankful, you know, that he, he gets to see the face of Jesus. He, he did. And, you know, we, we tell ourselves, even though we don't get to see him here, he's with us every family occasion. And, uh, you know, we have um, a tradition with my, my side of the family, with all the grandkids. We get a picture with my mom and dad, and so we never, ever, ever forget him. He is our guardian angel. And, uh, yeah, so... It's, it's tragic and, and emotional all at the same time, but yet I'm so thankful because my brother is still here. All right, so what I do is I just go get rocks. We had like this asphalt um, pad out in our driveway that had like chunks of rocks, and so I usually just go out and get some of those and just glue them into the, the pot. And so I know y'all are gonna laugh, but I use a lean stacky glue just to glue everything down. I am an, an a lean stacky glue person. So that's why I get this jug like this. And uh, because I can dip it and I, I use my little crafting stick just to, um, you know, dip stuff in and like glue everything down. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I have one larger block of styrofoam and then these from the Dollar Tree, when I can find them, sometimes I can't find them, but they're great because they're already cut in the uh, squares and so then I just stick them down in there so that I have um, something to you know stick flowers and stuff into and you since this is going outside um, what I'll do is is I will um, uh, you know glue everything down and uh, just use my lean stacky glue glue everything down now usually I have to stand up for this because I you know that's just I work a little bit better And so I hope y'all are having a wonderful Friday afternoon and I haven't seen my sister-in-law, but sometimes she pops on my lives as well. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to need to grab another one. I didn't grab, I'm here. I just didn't grab enough styrofoam. I just needed, whoops, knocking the table. Just needed to grab another pack of the styrofoam. All right. Oh, hey, Amy. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Amy is um, my sister-in-law. So y'all say hello to Amy as well as Christina because Amy is my sister-in-law who buys these wonderful, she does a great job with uh, finding the flowers um, Amy is, is my nephew's mom, and uh, Christina is, uh, well, his name was Kelby. I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. Since they're on, I will go ahead and say it. Hi, hi Lisa. I'll go ahead and say, yeah, he is my nephew, and um, like I said, I'm going to try not to get emotional, but sorry, guys. I just get emotional, you know. Anyway, so I just stuff that in there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. 
Anyway, thanks guys for welcoming everyone. I told myself, you're not going to get emotional. And then I do. I get emotional. Okay, another thing is I just pull out some Spanish moss. Oh, uh, if you're just popping on, what I am creating is um, in um, uh, several years ago, I um, tragically lost my nephew in an automobile accident. And so each year, my sister-in-law asked me to create um, a flower arrangement for the seasons for his, for his grave. And so I usually just create it and then post pictures either you know she'll tag me in on my personal profile or I'll share here with my community but this year I you know she just brought all of this stuff and and so I said well I'll just create it with my community um anyway so <laughs> so I am a little emotional um when it comes to this because it was um it's so tragic but you know we know that he is in the arms you know of Jesus and that if he had the opportunity he wouldn't you know come back but um, he's waiting for us there anyway so what I'm doing now guys is I am just putting some styrofoam in and I, I mean not styrofoam uh, Spanish moss just to cover up a bit of the styrofoam and uh, so I don't really worry about it too much, like gluing it down, because once I put the flowers in there, it is going to, um, I'm just going to put this over here in case I need to use, do a little bit more. Anyway, so Amy, I was bragging on you earlier that I say that you um, usually have, pick out the most beautiful flowers, and uh so I just am so honored to be sharing this with my community. All right, so what she's picked out, and I usually don't have to add a whole lot, um, is these beautiful sunflower bunches are from Hobby Lobby. Um, she also picked out some of this greenery, which is great because it gives that texture of, um, you know, just the different texture with the with the different greenery and stuff. And uh, then also she has some of these. Um, let's see what they're called. <clears throat> they're called Fresh Picked. And uh, so it doesn't really have, it just says Fresh Picked. And so it looks like baby's breath. Anyway, so I was telling them, Amy, that you do a wonderful job by picking out these flowers okay and so then um, since this can you know has these little rope things on it and I have two bushes what I'll do is I'm going to just stick the whole thing in it I stick the whole thing in it and uh, what I do is I make the hole first and then I just go I don't cut the the bushes apart um, for this because it's going to be outside. It's going to be outside. So the more intact um, I can leave it, the, the more, the better it'll be. All right. So then, oops, I was going to make me a hole, but that's okay. And so I'll stick it down as far as I can go. And so then all it is is just um, these two bushes like this. Then what I'll do is I will fan everything out. I'll fan everything out. Yeah, the um, um, Amy is saying um, she can't take the credit that Christina, who is her daughter, my niece, um, helps. So thank you, Christina. You do a wonderful job by helping your mom pick out these flowers. And uh, so what I do, guys, is I just, you know, spread them out. I just spread them out like that. And then the more I can keep them together, the better it is. Uh, you know, just I can keep them together. Now, I can already tell you that I am going to add a little bit more. I'm going to go into my greenery. and um, But I, I like the height of, of this. So I don't want to 
cut them apart and have them be, um, you know, short. I, I want it, I want it to stick up because this is like the main thing that's, that's on his, on his, um, on his grave. Anyway, so then now I am going to cut these apart. I had to pull out my big, my big things. My husband got these for me at Lowe's. I have so many different tools. All right. All right. So then, sorry, I'm a little, little, uh, <laughs> my nose is running now. I'm a little emotional. Anyway, so then I'll just get my Aline's Tacky Glue and then just start putting this in the side right there. And there's three different bunches. That's why I like um, working with the Lean's Tacky Glue because it doesn't set up right away. Um, I can, you know, kind of uh, work with it as I go. So then I will like stick something in and then just kind of um, see if that works good. And then just kind of start adding to it. And so, like I said, this is kind of how, um, Amy and Christina, you'll see um, just how your, your flowers come to life. They always make me feel so good um, by, you know, just telling me that the arrangements are, are beautiful. And so, for the main flowers, I do try to kind of keep those together because, like I said, since it's going outside in the weather element... The more that I can keep intact, the better. And so then I'll just start filling around. And I'm not going to be worried too much if I cannot, um, I cannot uh, fluff them out right now. You know, like I'll bend them and just kind of, you know, fill everything in as I go along. So thanks for spending a little bit of your Friday afternoon with me. I really appreciate it. Yes, Pamela says the greenery will wave in the breeze. That's right. So I'm honored, you know, to do this for them. And, uh, you know, it's, we've always done this. I, I don't know when, when I started doing it, but I know I do it for every season. That is a tough one. Anyway, so I'm just going to... And then what I'll do is, is once I get all of this in and it will dry, um, everything will set up. And then I'll go back in and add the Spanish moss um, and more greenery if I need it. And, you know, as I, I go along. Oops. Hey, Janet. From the nanny's nook. Hey, Misty from the Crafty Farm Girl. Hi, everyone. Did I just drop something? All right. So I'm going to kind of look back, see where my holes are. So, um, I really enjoy this. And so she did ask me about the sunflowers. I think the sunflowers will be beautiful. It'll carry, you know, through, um, through summer and we, we do live in Texas. And so we have to deal with the weather elements with the Texas heat and all the humidity and all of that stuff. But, um, as you can see, we're reusing this container uh, that she got from Hobby Lobby, I think. And uh, so we'll just, you know, put the... Um, yeah, that looks good. Amy, you do a wonderful job. 
<laughs> you do a wonderful job. Okay, this is, I think, Baby's Breath. It didn't really have uh, a name on it. It just said Fresh Breeze. So I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. Um, and then just kind of stick this. Amy and Christina. I don't want to leave Christina out because she does an amazing job and helps her mom out so much. And uh, so thanks for, like I said, spending a little bit of your Friday afternoon. Um, so many friends had, or, you know, a lot of my community, especially on YouTube, uh, they know my story and, you know, knew that I had done this, had created uh, arrangements for my nephew and that I had lost him. And uh, anyway, but now that I'm you know, crafting more on Facebook, and then I'll be sharing it over uh, with my YouTube community. I just want to, you know, welcome you all, and I just love this, this style of crafting. Hey, Abby, thank you. Glad to see you. Yep, I'm doing this for Mr. Kelby. Amy did a wonderful job, or Amy and Christina did a wonderful job by picking out the flowers, um, and, uh, then we're going to decorate that anyway. So I just wanted to share with you how quickly, you know, you can put, um, an arrangement together and, um, just by, you know, just sticking things. I would advise if you're going to be, you know, having it outside to use some sort of, um, thicker glue, uh, more, you know, I like, I'm just an Aline's Tacky Glue user. I have been using it for years. And uh, so, hey, Mammy. And uh, so I've just been using it for years. I have found the most, uh, you know, I get the, the it's, it, it is really one of my favorites. And, you know, and I, and I promise to you is that I only share what I use myself. And uh, anyway, so what I'll continue to do is, um, I will add more Spanish moss, and if, you know, once everything dry, everything dries, then what I'll do is I will see if there's any holes, and then I'll pull out different greeneries um, just to stick in, and, but otherwise, I think it's pretty good, you know, and uh, yeah, so... I may look for some more little white flowers and that kind of thing. But anyway, I appreciate y'all all watching. If you're watching on the replay, just say hashtag replay and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from because I love to uh, connect with my community. Um, anyway, if y'all have any questions, just let me know. But this is just how I do it. And it's an honor to create this for my nephew. Um, each season. We do something for each season. So anyway, y'all have a great day, a blessed weekend, and we will talk to y'all soon. All right, guys. Bye.